This is TNC Movie Nights. Today, we're going to be talking about some stuff that's kind of more in our wheelhouse that we seem to have put ourselves in, where we just complain about movies and stuff. But <laughs> it's funny because it's not. Anyway, how you doing, Ben? <laughs> Uh, I'm doing better now that I got my calzone uh, ordered, so I'm much happier at the moment. Uh, it only took a half hour. <laughs> yeah, literally half an hour for me to order a calzone because my place didn't want to... <sighs> Deep breath. <sighs> okay, I'm good. Uh, but yeah, we're talking movie stuff again hard today. Really yeah, hard really, us. really difficult, you know. Those, yeah. um, those really difficult problems, my calzone won't be here for 45 minutes. But hey, it gives us time to record an episode. So, <laughs> today talking about movies of course talking about sequels talking about remakes that just didn't need to be made Never. and uh it's very fitting Never. it's very fitting for uh the week we're coming up to this weekend since you know mortal kombat comes out and hopefully this will be one of those movies that's actually a really good remake so alex if you want to go ahead and start yes. it off just just, uh, just you know kind of maybe just talk about some remakes you know they talk about remakes in general but maybe just the idea of like exactly i guess what is a remake or you know a sequel kind of stuff i guess maybe the difference between the two for the audience yeah, so just in case you're unaware, sequels are continuations of stories, remakes are retellings of them. So, you know, you see a movie, you like it, and apparently the studio liked the money that they made, so they make another one, and it continues the story usually. Um, most of the time, it doesn't need to happen. Sometimes it does, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. And then remakes are, yeah, usually, hopefully it's been a lot of time since the first one was made. Recently, not so much, but that's when they just remake the same story try to do some twists to make it original maybe maybe not maybe they do a shot for shot but they're just retelling the same story we see it a lot right now with disney movies the the live action remakes of disney classics and all that jazz and i do want to clarify one thing too about this episode we're not going to talk about sequels that just sucked but were justified at least i'm not um so stuff like wonder woman 84 we both thought it was terrible but I think before we watched it, we would both agree that a sequel was awesome. Like, I wanted to see a second one. It, it was called for, it was justified, all that stuff. We're talking about movies that never needed one. No one really needed to see that, even conceptually. And then it also fell flat. So um, I think the first one, the perfect example of that is very recently and... Maybe not the most egregious, but I don't think Zombieland Double Tap ever needed to exist. The first one was interesting. It was a fun twist on sort of the, the zombie classic that had been like way overdone at the time. People were zombie crazy when the first one came out. And the first one was good. It was fun. It did a funny little take on it. And then they were like, let's make some more money and made a horrendous piece of crap that was saved only by like two funny lines from madison other than that it was a flaming piece of garbage uh f i do like that you bring that one up a lot because when i first saw that movie I, I, okay when we when i used to work at the movie theater we had to put our favorite movie title on our little badge zombie land was my favorite mm -hmm. movie on there until deadpool came out and uh, Zombieland is one of those movies I loved so much. I'd watch it probably two, three times a year. But it was a movie I never wanted a sequel for. And it felt weird to say that because it just it ended so perfectly, making you want more. But there was just really nowhere else they can go with it. Yeah, Double Tap, the story itself, like, yeah, there was, like, there was kind of a plot. But it was a lot of just trying to redo the same jokes. And yep. that's what really kind of killed it. I mean, they was kind of playing off the same jokes or, I don't know, just it, something just wasn't really funny anymore. Uh, and, and also, I do kind of want to mention today that we're not going to really talk about stuff like trilogies. Uh, you know, we're not going to be like, mm -hmm. Lord of the Rings, Two Towers, like, oh man, that didn't need a sequel. But like, of course, those need sequels. I'm not even going to bring up movies like um, X-Men Last Stand. Didn't really care for it. But like, as Alex said, like we're not going to talk about movies that are just kind of like superhero sequels because like we there's more stories to tell. So we're going to keep those just completely out of the realm for us today. Yeah. And I'll even probably really keep stuff even like Terminator out of the realm because that is kind of like a sci-fi sequel trilogy type of thing that they want to do. Yes, they're unneeded. Uh, 
but like there is more story to tell there are more places to go the movies i want to try to focus on more myself today is stuff that i really did enjoy zombieland sandlot the mighty ducks i think some oh that yeah. second sandlot oh no yeah <laughs> and i think there's actually a third and a fourth one of sandlot I, i'm almost positive yeah. there's a um, a third they one they try to pull it off with their kids or something yeah oh, Sam Lab 3 heading home was uh, in 2007 those are more of the movies I'm going to try to focus on for us today mm-hmm. because there's a lot of different things you know there's sequels which is you know the next part of a movie there's remakes which is as Alex said kind of maybe in that shot for shot area getting better graphics or visuals for a movie and then there's i think reboots that's something else we might touch on a little bit today something like the mortal kombat movie that's coming up this isn't a third part to the first two for mortal kombat and mortal kombat annihilation this is just kind of a revamp for the story a reboot to kind of hope to keep that franchise going to kind of have a reset button also i want to add in one thing to that too yeah they're not always bad yeah no, I, this, I mean, they're not usually good, but like the, the the one that comes to mind is like the the Jackie Chan, Jaden Smith, Karate Kid. I didn't hate it. It's not a good movie by any stretch, but it wasn't as bad as like it's not the stereotypical like oh my god, Sandlot three bad. But it didn't need to happen. Everyone who I'll be saw fair, the first honest one. With you, I- strongly disagree with you there i i would rather go watch sandlot 3 than go watch the karate kid with jaden smith in it i fair it, like i said like it's not movie. good i'm not trying to defend the uh, movie but i'm but uh, i didn't hate it and i'm glad it you didn't it doesn't have to be terrible to not be just to be unjustified like you could it could have been fine but it was still unnecessary you know you nobody needed that everyone who saw the first one was like what are you doing? We're still here. Like this, I I just watched it the other day. Why are we doing like? It's not new. Yeah. Same with like Pirates of the Caribbean. Like you rebooted that thing like three years after you continued. Like that's not even. If people are questioning if it's a reboot or a sequel, probably don't do it. Probably don't reboot it because it's still the same decade you made the the last one in. Yeah. Yeah. No. I I can definitely agree there and. Uh... I, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff we're going to probably complain about. I would love to wrap this up possibly today with sequels we didn't think we needed that were actually really good. So we can kind of, we can look forward to some sort of positiveness at the end. Yeah. If, if there's like anything that. positive we can think of. Uh, but yeah, I, for me, it is kind of a lot of those Disney movies. I, I'm a huge fan of uh, those kind of like sport Disney movies growing up from Mighty Ducks to like Air Bud. Uh, all of those i think are a really good time sandlot but a lot of those really didn't need more it just cash cow kind of thing like they did really well they made a lot of money the studio's like let's do it again it'll make more money the second one usually did make a lot of money but then that third one is really where they're kind of pushing it um godfather three <laughs> sorry say that again i didn't catch that i said they all go godfather three one and two you're like i can deal with that and then three you're like oh no yeah 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 exactly so uh those are some of the ones that kind of want to start off with but um alex any uh maybe more recent ones that you can kind of think of that i don't know maybe it's kind of fell flat for the sequel side of things um well yeah but it kind of goes with what you were talking about before you know when you have big series and, and trilogies that add on you know i mentioned pirates of the caribbean i liked i loved the first three you know that was definitely one where you're like oh my god the first one was so great we got a sequel this is great the set uh, i liked how two and three were together and then we got a fourth and then we got a fifth which was kind of a reboot not really a sequel even though the fourth was also kind of a reboot but with one character still the same i think they brought back barbosa too and it was like y'all just stop just stop just don't do that and then same with um i mean they they're always recent because they're always making these movies but like fast and the furious anything past fast five including fast five like we didn't you didn't need this you had a movie about cars and people liked it because it was about cars and now it's like the expendables meets terminator meets video games and you're just like what are you what are you doing look at what you're doing what are you doing 
So just kind of those. A lot of the recent ones are the remakes and the continuations of stories that just don't need to happen. We don't need a part nine. We didn't need a part four. And then the Disney ones, they're falling flat for the most part. Which I wouldn't hate if they redid it because they were, we were kids when they came out. And now we're adults and it's like, this is fun. It's been like 20 plus years since they came out, which is like kind of enough time. It's maybe not the most, but it's kind of enough. And and it's great when it's like the Monsters University thing when you're like, oh, see, kids, but now college because you guys were kids. And now you're probably in college. And then they were just like, we're just going to make crappier versions of all of the things that you hold near and dear to your heart. And you're like, but why? Why? No one wanted this. No one asked for this. People are often telling you not to do this, and you're still doing this. Why? Just go make Atlantis. Make us all happy. Yeah, and if we can just bring up another like Disney Pixar type movie that just never needed a sequel, can we talk about Toy Story for a second? Just kidding. I am kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably one of the few that is actually really solid. Still, uh, it, to kind of jump into the kind of comedy area of stuff. One that really bugged me that got made was Dumb and Dumber Two. That oh. one is terrible. And it, yeah, I don't know. Like that's one of those movies. Like I really like Jim Carrey. And it was, it was dumb, but it worked for the first one. And then they just tried to do it again with kind of just pop culture stuff, and it was just terrible. I thought, uh, I'm actually, I'm dying to know what the IMBD score on that. Uh, sorry, the Rotten Tomatoes, thirty percent. Honestly, much higher than I thought it would be. Well, are you talking about Dumb and Dumber Two or Dumb and Dumber Er with the one that didn't even have Jim Carrey and, and Jeff Daniels in it? Because they tried to redo it with nobody from the original and you're like they were the only things that made this watchable why are you making a sequel without both actors in it i'm sorry this is a thing yes dumb and dumber -er. and then it sucked so bad that like 15 years later they were like we we're just gonna ignore that we're gonna do a take two on this one and they try to get actors to look so much like the two of them and they didn't. It was no bueno. Wow, I never knew this was a thing. Uh-huh. I'm That's so happy I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, man. It, talk about movies that didn't need to get made. Wait, is Shia LaBeouf in this? No. What? That also, looks like, oh, what that looks like young Shia LaBeouf. Terrible sequels. Like, he was in the fourth Indiana Jones. Why are you making a fourth he Indiana Jones? Harrison, Harrison Ford was, like, dead when they made that movie. And they were like, he's an action star. And you're like, he's a great grandfather. You need to not do this. And then Shia LaBeouf's trying to be edgy. And you're like, you're Shia LaBeouf, man. Go dig another hole. That's the only thing you were good in other than the first Transformers, whoa, which whoa, wasn't even that good. Whoa, he was great in Fury. Calm down. Oh, you know what? He Fair. was great. In Fair. Fury. Fair. He was pretty damn good. So, the actors for Dumb and Dumber are Eugene Levy, Shia LaBeouf, Louise Guzman, Bob Saget. They had like A1 cast for this movie, except what were they for the two. Doing? Except for the two people they had actually play like the main two people. Oh my god, I'm oh God, that is awful. I, again, I never knew that was actually a movie that was made. Uh, you know, I, I kind of just want to keep throwing different uh, ones out there. Another one that really kind of bugged me that got made, because the first one is just so good, and then it was like, damn, we got to make some money, let's do it a decade later in uh, Incredibles. I thought Incredibles is one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies ever, and then they just waited too long. Like, if they would have came out with a sequel, like, within a couple of years, I'd have been like, yeah, th this is understandable. This makes sense. But it just kind of felt like it was just wanting to make money. It literally was 14 years later. And, and that was tough, because I love The Incredibles, and I liked yeah. the sequel. But which, yeah, which, it's, it's fine. Like... It, it is, I'll be honest, it, it is better than a lot of the ones we're talking about today. It just upset me that it took them 14 years. It just felt very, let's yeah. get money. So, it that's just kind of me on that one. I, it, it, it's probably one of the best ones we're going to talk about today, and I wouldn't be surprised if you bring that one up for the ones that are actually good. So Yeah. Can we talk about another movie real quick for a second? And this this is sort of up there with, like, 
I don't even know how you can justify it. And that's Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Like, that 2. The first one was trash. Nobody whoa, liked that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't. You, whoa. you want to die on that hill? You want to you try to talk about how great of a of a cinema experience Paul Blart Mall Cop is and I like Kevin James. Anything Kevin James is in is a, an experience, okay? Yeah, and that was a bad and, one. And Steven Renazzisi, I don't know how to say his name. I Renazzisi? love him. Yeah, I love him. Yeah, uh, uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Great just time. Come on, great man. time. The first one is what a great doing? time. That's like, that's... <sighs> That one's tough because it's not even like the good. The first one was good. That's not like I'm looking at a list of things that didn't need to be made. And they have stuff like Caddyshack 2 and Speed 2 and Daddy Day Camp instead of Daddy Day Care. The ones where you're just like, this is nothing like the original at all. No one came back. We got one guy to come back so we could technically call it a sequel. And it's a totally different story with like a third of the budget and we're just throwing this out so you can write us a check and you're like what are you doing but then when you do that with a movie that already sucked why why what do you why why i'm just still so confused about this being with paul bart mall cop because that's a treasure uh but yeah (laughs) it made me laugh one time and it was on accident it's so stupid and again, I like Kevin James. Like, I even like, like Grown Ups is funny. Grown Ups Two, what the hell? What are you? What? What are you? Why? What are you yeah. doing? That's just uh, cheaper by the dozen. Two little fuckers. The bad news bears go to Japan. Like some of the movies that you've never even. You're like, that's a thing. Like you know the source material, but then you're like. They made they made that many of those like the next Karate Kid, which I think was the fourth or fifth. That's the fourth one. Karate Kid Part Four is yeah. the next Karate Kid, and then they were like, "That movie was so bad, we got to get Jaden Smith." Although Jackie Chan was pretty solid in that. Uh, but, yeah, I Karate Kid is one of the big ones that oh did God. upset me a lot, and apparently Karate apparently Karate Kid Two is. Aren't they gonna happen? Isn't James Smith like twenty? Um. Yeah, I don't know how like serious this is, but apparently they still want to make a Karate Kid too, with Jaden Smith. With I, I don't know how I feel about that. It's literally because the first karate one was terrible. I thought. Yeah, yeah, but like at the same time, like if you think about it, like the first four Karate Kid movies. He was what, like sixteen? I mean, that's still a kid, I guess, but like a teenager. The fourth one, he was probably like twenty-five, I would bet. Yeah, but yeah, like fair. he's twenty-two right now. So, but yeah, I. Well, the first time we saw a twenty-year-old try to play a teenager. Speaking of, I all right, Andrew fair. Garfield, Spider-Man. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, we we said though? we weren't going to yeah. do that. We, we said we weren't going to do that, so we, we won't do that. But. But here's the deal. Who cares? So let's do it anyway. <laughs> it, so okay, like, b- before we get into this, I just want to say how like certain things. I love Spider Man. I love a lot of different things. A lot. I love. I love superhero stuff, as you guys know. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's way too quick to get a reboot or a sequel or whatever. A sequel's fine, but reboots, no. We had what three Spider Mans in like thirteen years, which is just absurd. And we still don't have like an official like Flash movie, but we've pumped out three different Spider Mans. Which I'll be honest. Outside of Amazing Spider-Man Two, I've I've really liked all of them at least a little bit to enjoy. But, yeah, the second yeah. Amazing Spider-Man was not good. They tried so hard to just build. They they pulled the DC. Yeah. They were like, "Look, there are be bad guys," and you're like, mm-hmm. "What?" And then they're like, "The movie's over. Wait for part seven. And you're like, "This yeah. is part two. What are you talking about?" Yeah, but exactly. Swing and miss. Swing and miss. Yeah. Although. Again, like, they got it right with Tom Holland. Yeah. I was going to save this for when we were talking about nice ones, but that's a good remake. And it was really close, time-wise, to the Andrew Garfields. But also, they were redoing it for Marvel, and you needed to do that to justify having Spider-Man in in the Avengers. 
and he's like one of the biggest parts of phase four so like you needed to do that yeah and so you kind of like okay all right fine and then they you know hit it out of the park with tom holland and and so i mean i guess kudos i wouldn't have any sort of like gripe with it honestly if the andrew garfield ones never happened which i'll be honest the first amazing spider-man i think is a good time i liked it i i really did too i really liked it i really liked andrew garfield's spider-man because it was yes. very cocky very funny it was what spider-man is and that's what toby mcguire i think missed out on a little bit not being funny and quippy enough but then andrew garfield was just way too cool he would have been a cool kid in high school. Like, but then he's he literally he's skateboarding like, through the hallways. The dude is like 6'2", and he's dating Emma Stone. Like, no one looks at that guy and goes, what a nerd. Yeah. It's like, okay, but you're you're pretending that they are. Yeah. If you want to have a cool Peter Parker, whatever. You know, you'll have the comic book nerds pissed off about it. But don't don't sit there and pretend like Andrew Garfield is a nerd. Come on. And, and, and you know, Tom Holland, like... Yeah, like he's Tom Holland. He's not gonna be like the super nerdy dude, but he's kind of goofy enough to pull it off. Like, yeah, you believe him when he's sitting at the table just being weird, and you're like, yeah, he's just kind of weird. Yeah, like he's not. He, he, he's he could not be, but when he's being weird, you're like, yeah, he's weird. So it works. But yeah, he played a really good Spider-Man. Both of them got the the quippy sarcasm. Quick with the whip, even quicker with the quip type of thing. I, I, okay, yeah, I didn't like that. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> so to kind of jump back into it, since you know this kind of turned anyway a yeah. Spider-Man rant for about five yeah. minutes. It, it, it's tough because there are a lot of different things that do well with the remakes. I would say something we did just watch of Godzilla. You know, we're kind of seeing a newer Godzilla and Kong kind of make its way over the last five years now. Of course, jumping back from like early two thousands or late nineties. Sometimes yeah. it can work, and sometimes it does go really well. And that is kind of the tough part. It's really hard to judge before it actually comes out, because. Yep. Plenty of the times, like here, uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman. Like we're getting a third Batman now in like eight years or something like that. And it's and not I, even canon. They're still trying to figure that out now. Apparently, there's talks that they're going to try to like squeeze it into being like the multiverse thing that DC has as well. So we we'll see what they kind of do with it. And it's why it's a little difficult for me to try to like bash on stuff like that right away because sometimes, like Tom Holland's, I mean, his was getting made couple years after andrew garfield and we might have something good with robert pattinson uh pattinson so that's true we'll definitely have to see and people people bash the heath ledger joker so maybe 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 this will be like that and and i think robert pattinson's gonna be a good batman but yep. like you have a batman mm-hmm. why are you making a batman movie without batman in it and then he wasn't going to be batman but then he is going to still be Batman, but only in some Batmans. Not for Batman, Batman, just for other movie Batman. Like, so we got two Batman, man, 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 <laughs> man I'm glitching right here. Uh, so it's just like, what do you, why? This could be great, but why? Why are you making a Batman movie with a different Batman that's not even part of Batman? That's totally, just, like, why? I don't know. Yeah, no, I think I- one, Go ahead. Go ahead. No, because I'm going to go way off topic with this. You, you got to take this one. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I was going to, I was going to kind of wrap it back in, but and it, it does kind of stink because sometimes the sequels do taint the the greatness of the originals, like Jaws. Jaws, very classic movie, but then there's what? There's yeah. like three, maybe four I think it's Jaws. Like five, movies. four or five, uh, something like that. There are at least five. Yeah, five. Nineteen. Uh, I think it was 1995 was the last Jesus. one. Looks like. Stuff like that, you know, Fast and Furious, you brought it up earlier. I'll be honest, first Fast and Furious, really good movie. Even the second one's pretty decent. Yeah. And then they really just kind of turned it really hard and it got weird. So just watch big buff bald dudes fight each other while exploding and falling off a building. Yeah. But don't worry, they'll be fine because there are no consequences in this universe. <laughs> so uh, is there anything else you'd like to possibly complain about? before yes, we kind of get two. into the good stuff. The Pink Panther with Steve Martin was one of the dumbest movies possibly ever. I remember even watching it when I was like, however old I was when it came out, which I don't know, nine, maybe. I'm like watching it then being like, look it up. this blows. I don't know what this is, but this blows. Congrat- like Steve Martin, comedy god, sure. I probably chuckled a couple times at nine, but that movie sucks. 
and it didn't have to. And then sometimes people take things and it's like, maybe it's a fan project, but why looking at you, Vince Vaughn, when you remade Psycho, like the Psycho, and he tried to do like a shot for shot remake. And the only thing he changed was like, like touching himself while he was looking through the, the hole in the wall instead of just looking through the hole in the wall. And you're like, dude, what? Why are you trying to do like an identical version of Psycho? You're Vince Vaughn. Go be Vince Vaughn. It's like the Harris, or not the Harrison Ford thing. It's like the, um, Jesus Christ, who are we talking about? Who's Kevin Costner? Kevin Costner is always Kevin Costner in his movies. Vince Vaughn is always Vince Vaughn in his movies. He doesn't play a character, he's just Vince Vaughn. Don't do that with Psycho, because then you actually are psycho so that i just had to get that one out there because i've been staring at vince vaughn psycho on my list of things to talk about oh and the electra movie now that we're talking about superheroes daredevil sucked why'd you make a sequel contracts um the only other one i have oh and batman and robin wasn't going to talk about it i know you like it the movie sucks wait what batman and robin i hate batman that movie, movie. I hate oh, that movie. I thought you liked that movie. No, my dad loves that movie. I Your hate dad. that movie. Dad. No, oh, yeah. everybody it's, chill. Shut it, up. It's the whole reason I don't like Batman when I was growing up. I hated Batman growing up. Wow. Okay. Uh, then the then movie sucks. No, yeah. <laughs> terrible movie. The only other one I have to talk about is the one that we got to review, and we haven't talked about it yet. How about you? Uh, yeah, I don't really want to talk about it, so we'll try to stall a little bit longer, and we'll go into... <laughs> so, what kind of sequels do you like? I like ones that... that weirdly enough, like... Sorry, I meant I meant to be more specific. I apologize. Oh, like the actual movies? Yeah. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a total crab ass I, i'm down for some sequels if they got good movies um trying to think of some now in my head popped up the equalizer 2 that one sucked uh, maybe i can only be negative am i just a mean person like name a movie you like and i go hmm that sucks um why don't you take the lead on this one while i think about movies okay so i, I want to kind of talk about just a reboot for us first and i love this movie it's actually funny because you brought it up earlier but bad news bears the billy bob thornton one. Oh yeah it's so like it's not a good movie but it's a fun movie and i feel That's like fun. they do a good job of like knowing that throughout the movie like they're very self-aware in it and that's one of those that like shouldn't have worked but it's actually a lot of fun uh outside of that though i mean that that is really tough i in that light, I do want to throw in The Longest Yard, too. Yes. Thank you. It did not need to get made. It did no. not need to be redone. No one was asking for it. No one wanted it, especially with Adam Sandler. But, like, it kind of worked. It was fun, and it was dumb, and it wasn't bad. You know, it's not going to win any Oscars, but who cares? You don't have to win an Oscar to be a good movie. I liked it. Now, if they did a sequel of that, mm-mm, mm-mm. That was good. I mean, the the Godfather two, one of the best sequels. Rocky two, Rocky two is my favorite one. That one's really good. We Rocky like yeah. Okay, here's the thing. Everyone dogs on Rocky four being like jumping the shark for the series, which is true. Rocky four is awful, but I still like Rocky four. It's like it's up there. It's not. It's not the best. It's just not. It's like two one three four, but it's still watchable. I'll still count that in the good Rockies five sucked rocky balboa the unofficial like the the sixth one spare me creed bueno yeah so that's another sort of like remake slash continuation michael b jordan's just great so like kudos to there but yeah rocky 2 is really good godfather 2 like i said really good godfather 3 not so much another one i want to throw in there is uh mad max fury road um, oh, good flick. Yeah. That's a really, really good one. That even the first one's like still good from like what, 1980? 19, like maybe late mm-hmm. 70s? I, I think like, yeah, Mel Gibson, I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, yeah. 1979. Uh, that's one My of those movies. Was a big, 
Go ahead. I would say that's one of those movies that really did not need to be brought back and rebooted, but it was good. I'm glad they did. It was very well done. My mom was a big Mel Gibson fan before he turned into a, a anti-Semitic rage monster. Uh, so we had like the old Mad Max and the Lethal Weapons in the house and all that stuff. Didn't watch them that much, but they were there. Um, oh, The Dark Knight. I mean, that's a sequel. Yeah, that, that movie's great. It's the it's the best of the whole series, and that's what I love about sequels, is that like, yes, a lot of the time they don't need to be made. They're cash grabs, or whatever. If they're done well, they can be so great, especially in situations like like with Deadpool and Deadpool Two. Now, I, I you and I both love Deadpool, and we both love mm-hmm. Deadpool Two. I don't know if which one do you think was better. I think the first Deadpool is better. I, it's close, though. I would agree with you. But the second one's still good. Yeah. And that's a situation where it's like you kind of get to see them really become what they're trying to make. Because mm-hmm. the first one, it took so damn long to make. And it was like pulling teeth. And they got a shoestring budget. It was still like 80 million bucks. But like in terms of a, a full-blown like superhero movie, superhero movie that's, that's pennies. And so it was just like you go, go go make your thing and so they made the thing and it worked really well and then everyone was like oh okay now go do it the way that you could have done it had we believed in you it's like now you have the backing you have the trust of the studios you have the support from the fans and so sometimes sequels are super rad because they finally get to be like themselves it's like watching tv series and being in like season four like season one you have to introduce the people but then once you get rolling and it's like season four it's like, damn, this is great. And so I don't hate on sequels just because. Like they're sometimes they're great. Also, like you said, with trilogies and, and series and stuff, you just gotta continue the story. I mean, you look at stuff like Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and all that stuff, you, the more story you can tell about your universe, it's usually gonna be really great. But the problem with so many stories like that is, one, they either do the thing that we talk about all the time, where they try to set up a series before they set up the movie, so the entire first movie ends up being set up, or one of the movies in the series ends up being just set up, and you're like, you're not a movie. You're not a story. You're not a beginning, a middle, and an end. You failed as a movie. Or they try to continue it way past when they should, and that's when you end up with Fast 9 or whatever we're on, or Rocky 5, or The Godfather 3, or the ones where you're like, oh, you should have stopped when you were ahead. Yeah. Uh, no, I, which I, I can agree with that, and there's a couple I do kind of just want to bring up for ones that I actually was pleasantly surprised with as well. Uh, one we actually did a review on pretty recently, but The Mummy is, of course, a reboot from the 1932 Mummy. Uh, that one's a Great. lot of fun, but of course, it jumped to like 2015. That Mummy sucked, uh, personally. Ooh. Outside yeah. of that, though, the other ones I wanted to mention uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I, I personally really thought the newer, like, 2011 one was actually really good. Because uh, what the last one, I think it was like Mark Wahlberg and. Tim Burton, I think, right? Something like that, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And then the last one I want to bring up, just because it's funny, because I really don't care for these kind of movies normally, but It. I thought the new It movie yeah. was actually fantastic and really well done. Yeah. So, um, very, very I don't even like horror. Surprised. And yeah, it was amazing. Same. 100% agree. And I put Tim Curry up on a pedestal that, you know, he's like, he's fantastic. And then they redid it. And those movies were those movies were so good. I watched it. I haven't seen the second one yet, but I hate horror movies, and I was never going to watch it. And everyone was like, "This movie is so good. It's just genuinely good. You should probably yeah. watch it because I think you'll like it." And I did, and I did, and it was great. So yeah, good one there. Yeah, that's Definitely honestly kind of the last one I am going to bring up myself, just because again, it was very surprising on how good that one was. But, uh, you know, we did try to hold off on as long as we possibly could. But the movie we're going to be sadly reviewing, I think, thanks to Simon. Yep. Good thanks, buddy, Simon. Thanks to our buddy, Simon. We're going to be watching The Mask 2. Son one of the, the Mask. Son of the Mask, yeah. One of those movies that uh, the first one was fun. I think it's a good movie. Yeah. It's one of Jim Carrey's, I think, best in my opinion. Uh, I can definitely understand okay. how people don't like it. It's a little over the top. It's extremely over the top. 
But we get Son of the Mask. And if you didn't know, Jim Carrey is not in this one. And there's a reason because it's terrible. What so, are you like, nine on Rotten Tomatoes? Give it that much? Six. Six percent on Rotten Tomatoes. So we're gonna watch this. I remember seeing it back in like 2005 because I was so excited for the new Mask movie. Because being eight, nine years old, I was just so naive. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to sadly revisit that again. So we're gonna review that for this weekend's show, and we're gonna try to be having these come out on Wednesdays and Fridays. So expect the review on Friday, about 7 p.m. And uh, we'll see how terrible it is. Alex, what so else? Excited. What else do you got for the people before we have to watch this wonderful movie? <laughs> Nothing, man. Let's just go buy this piece of crap movie and watch it, and then dog on it. That's all I got. That's all we do. Are you happy? Is this fun? Is this fun for you? Two people that are watching this. Are you having a good time? Because we're doing this for you. We don't. We wouldn't watch this if we weren't doing this show. You think we want to watch Son of the Mask? I kind of do want a dog on it though. It's been a minute since we watched a really bad one. So I take all that back. Damn it. All right, fine. Let's watch it. Now I'm kind of excited. See, we got We got to spin team this stuff, man. It's gonna be fun. We're having fun. Tell the people where they can find us. <laughs> yeah, so people can find us. The nerdchambers.com. Real nice and simple. All of our media is on there, all of our shows, all that good stuff. And if you want to possibly reach out to us, you can just go to TNC Movie Nights on any social media platform, whether that's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Email us if you want. TNC Movie Nights if, I don't know, you're 90. But uh, <laughs> outside of that, if you want to support us, support Who the show. We do that old, man. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, get some merch we got tnc movie nights merch we got uh, good old nerd chambers logo over there as well and uh that's gonna do it for our episode i'm excited to go eat my food so that is all i will see you friday for son yeah. of a mask son of a mask alex brandon enjoy your calzone buddy see you guys <laughs>